hello friends now this tutorial is continue to part three tire architecture project until now we have just completed registration form and business here creating the variable or properties layer we have defined all the properties of the variable and now just the data layer is remaining for that just uh, create another class uh, where we can define um, SQL queries just select add add a class so just give its name mm, insert <coughs> or just write uh, mm, just write on employee F1 means add, update, delete, or functions. Just select enter. Make it as a public. And now, uh, before that, we have to just add a database. So just uh, select the project and enter. Sorry. Uh, we have to add a database select the data layer add new item and select uh, database this service uh, MDF database so just change the name to employee db employee database so here it is now in the database we have to create an employee table so just cancel it double click on it Let's take a little bit time and select on the tables add new table So here change the name of the table employee TBL table just wait okay now just write down all the name username make it as a number of variable character 50 the difference between variable character and and where character is that and where can can store the unicode data like hindi english marathi urdu arabic whatever language you can store uh, you can store in it but in the where care you can't store unicode language uh, the second one was uh, email uh, third one was gender we can use bit but it will make some complicated so we are going to make as simple as possible because in gender there are 
only two male or female so we can use bit 0 or 1 but uh, it will make some complicate uh, after phone phone and in the phone after address uh, it will require max or just give it to 100 or 200 now which one is remaining uh, date of joining and type date of joining date time TYTP type here for phone there is no need to give so much uh, just make it 12 maybe someone write 91 or then 10 digit followed by 10 digit so just uh, complete it and also for gender there is no need to re give so much for male and female it will require for 5 to 7 character just give 8 character and email and username just uh, complete it so finally just click on update update database click on update database okay there is one thing remaining we haven't given any auto increment number to id so just select to id right click on properties On properties identify select is as a true it will show identity increment by one identity seed one just do one more time update so we don't require to give every time the serial number just close it now the database and the table is completed now over here employer function now we have to create the uh, submit or add function or insert function from taking the variables values from uh, variables from to here data layer so in the next tutorial we are going to create new and also we are going to create store procedures because in the company store procedures are widely used not just a simple sql query so thanks for watching have a good day